the series of our marriage series, readiness in marriage and the rest of them. Today we are entering a new topic, group behavior in social studies. In the course of this class, we'll take two main areas. We'll explain what group behavior is, and we're going to list the types of good, uh, group behavior that we we'll have. Now, what is group behavior? It's a collection of individuals who have relations to one another that make them achieve their goals. A collection of individuals who have relations that they have a common goal, they have a common objective with one another. All of them come together because of a particular purpose, because they have a particular goal to achieve. We can equally say that it refers to two or more persons who have similar goals come together in a group and behave the same way. Two or more persons come together having similar goals, having similar objectives. They come together to so behave the same way because they are in a group. They've agreed to behave in the same way. They have agreed to achieve a goal. They have agreed to achieve a purpose. And they create that group because of that goal they have in mind. So when we talk about group behavior, it is people who have similar behavior. People who have similar goals, people who have similar objectives, people who come together for a purpose, and that purpose is what makes all of them to come together. That's group behavior. And so when you see a group of individuals that are achieving a particular goal, that means they are in this group for a particular long reason. Let's say age grade, they are a group of people maybe for the maintenance of the community. So all their goals, all their objectives is to maintain their community. So also for so many groups that can be created, it has to be created for a purpose and a goal in mind. Now we have seen what group behavior is. What, the next point is, we want to see the types of group behavior that we have. What are the types of group behavior? We have max action, Communal level service, joining protest march, participating in fights, acting patriotically. When we talk about max action, a group of people coming together and then carrying out an action because they are not in favor or they are in favor of a particular issue. For example, labor union collection of all laborers or collection of all government employees carrying out an action because there is increment in fuel, increment in electricity, lack of basic life uh, necessities, and there is mass action. This group of people come together to carry out this purpose, this goal, to influence the government to change their attitude. Communal labor or services. Group of people in a community that are formed to do communal services, do maintenance of the social, the community, to make the community a better place. That is communal labor or labor or services. Joining in protest march. There is something that's not going right, like you have a max action and there is a march. A day is fixed to go out there in the streets. The day is fixed for people to turn up, to come earlier, to carry blackouts, to come and protest against what is happening, injustice, corruption. This group are formed for a particular purpose. Participating in fights, they are fighting for a common goal, incrementing salary, wages, and the rest of them. Then acting patriotically, a group of people who are from a country that act patriotically. Patriotism has to do with you voting, respecting your country, not being a saboteur to your country, not trying to sell off your country to other people. You are a good Nigerian. You respect the law of the land. You carry out your civic rights and duties very well. In our, civ in our civic class, you saw what rights and duties of a citizen is. So these are types of social of group behavior. Mass action, communal service, joining protests, participating in fight, and acting patriotically. That will be it for our class. 
in social study until we meet in another class we we'll discuss further theories. Thank you for being part of this class.